Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, uh, brothers and uh, sisters in Christ. All of us were invited here to share with uh, David and Marie in the most important moment of their lives, in the time that they have been together. Their love for and understanding of each other has grown and matured, and finally, both of them decided to live together as husband and wife. ecstatic to welcome a new sister into the bunch. Um, she fits in so well, um, doesn't miss a beat, um, doesn't ask for permission to join in the conversation, just jumps right in at the right tone of voice because we're really loud. Um, and so I, she can match that very well. So I'm just, I'm just happy. I couldn't be happier than even on my own wedding day or the birth of my own child. So I love you both. Congratulations and to many more. <laughs> he told me, he said, uh, I saw her. I don't even know her, but I'm gonna marry her. Like, jeez, did you even say hi? <laughs> Hello? Uh, shake a hand? Nothing? No, I'm going to marry her right there. Marie, it's hard to explain love at first sight. And it's even harder to prove it's possible. But I stand before you today as proof. I wanted to marry you from the very first time I laid eyes on you. So I win. One, two, three, go! Find your left shoe! If you are able to find your shoe, you can already go back to your seat. Brian and Melina, give a big, big round of stand And allow me to read on how the Bible defines love. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps the record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. This kind of love will never Never fail. I don't know how much you guys know about our brother or our family, but this past year has been a really rough one for us. So today is one of the most amazing and happy places that we have been in a while for us. So I just want to tell you, David, I'm so, so proud of the man that you have become. And I'm so proud to see the husband that you are ready to be. And I'm Marie, I'm very thankful for you to have chosen David to be that man to carry you through life and to protect you and to love you and to respect you. And 
I'll just, I'm, I just can't wait to see what the future holds for you guys. So congratulations and too many more. Okay, open it up. Let's see. Oh! Oh, wow. That's beautiful, man. They may not be physically here with us, but I'm sure that they're all smiling and always guiding you and our family. Wear their smiles. I know they're also proud of you. I'll see you later and I love you so much, Murray Osborne. Thanks, Nye. Welcome, Nye. <laughs> Murray came up with this. Dude, what a genius. As husband and wife, as much as possible, make your spouse your first priority in life when it comes to human relationship. No longer your parents, no longer your siblings, your office mates and friends, not even your loved ones. David, your first priority in life is Marie. And Marie, your first priority in life is your husband, David. Maybe sooner or later you have a lot of kids. How many do you like? Never change your priority. Still, your first priority is your spouse. Through the years, I'm always by your side. Not always literally, but always at heart. You know that. We've been there for each other through some of the hard hardest times of our lives. I've had the opportunity to watch you grow, mature, and develop as a strong, wonderful woman. I know you've been a best mother to Prashan. Shani, no doubt about it because you are raised by the best, your parents and your grandmother. I can tell you, Marie, that you are in good hands with David. Let me tell you about David. There's a lot of things I don't know about David, but I know some things about David that is important within, within you guys' marriage. When David is focused on something, he's always focused within himself. He's focused on what is himself and what's, what he's passionate about. Cars is one thing. I cannot tell you how to even screw on a screw on the tire. This guy will break down an engine and put it back together and make it look like you. Okay? This guy is passionate about animals and insects and the planet. You know? And that's one thing I know about David. He's just a passionate passionate person and you cannot ever doubt him about his passion for the love for you David was uh, my first real baby doll that I was able to play with and stroll around in my stroller and my baby crib. It didn't last very long because he got really heavy really fast. Who knew that we would be here today? Well, I knew. I knew I wanted to marry you. I knew I wanted to come home to your smile, to have a family with you, and to give you my all. I just didn't know you would say yes to our first date. <laughs> Congratulations 
to you and David. I wish you guys nothing but the best and I can't wait to see what your babies look like. So Marie and I met about two years ago only um, at Singapore Airlines and I never thought that we would be as close as we are today. And I'm honestly so thankful to have you in our life. She's always been the responsible one among the four of us because she doesn't drink and she yells at us every time we embarrass her in public when we start yelling out Gucci Gang. <laughs> so in short, she's always been the mother of the group and I'm sure you love us just as much as we love you. And David, I can assure you that you have nothing to worry about because Marie's a grandma, so she's not going to do anything. Just kidding. Um, you're in good hands because Marie is probably one of the most kindest, most generous, and never selfish, and you're beyond lucky to have her. Hi, babe. You look so handsome. <laughs> you know that this has been the cause of my headache for the past couple of days. And what would I say to you when the time comes that I have to pledge my affection and dedication to you? You know that. I tell you this every day. There will be no better time to repeat it than today. I love you. You are my best friend. You are the love of my life. And I'm so blessed to have you. I remember you sat me down the very first day to confess you having a son. And it hurt me to see the fear in your eyes because to accept you means to accept all of you. And I want you to know that Sean is my son. I love you. I bet you like that, I bet you never get it. From the day we started dating, and from the time you knew that I have Sean, you unselfishly have given yourself to us without any hesitations. You've proved that love has no boundaries. You shared your understanding and genuine heart to us and showed the meaning of true love. I fear weakness. I fear a broken heart. I fear to be let down. But I stand before you here today, weak, in love and in tears. And my heart is beating a million miles a minute. But I know that you won't let me down that you hold me when I need to cry and you'll care for me when I am weak and you'll be strong when I cannot. Marie, I vow to love you to the very end. I love you, babe. David, do you vow here, as you have promised um, Marie, that you will be true and loyal, patient in sickness, comforting in sorrow and forsaking all others. Keep yourself only unto her so long as you both shall leave. I do. Shout it out, David, please. I do. Yeah, a round of applause for David's answer. <laughs> yeah. Marie, do you vow here, as you have promised David, that you will be loyal in adversity, ministering to him in affliction, comforting him in sorrow, and forsaking all others, keeping yourself only unto him so long as you both shall leave? I do.
as we go together in this journey of life, I promise to inspire you and not to hold us back, to be there and comfort you in times of sadness and to always understand you. I cannot promise you that it will be always smiles and sunshines, but what I can assure you is that we will always be together and we will get through life together.